This is John with hookahjohn.com. This is take two on this video because I was really boring. I was really tired when I started this. I'll tell you why in a little bit. But here's the video right now. You guys may know this as a Syrian Nauras hookah. Um, they were available maybe four or five years ago. A lot of people uh, took great pride in owning one of these. Um, the problem is political situation, worldwide situation. Syria's not producing any hookahs anymore. We just don't see them. Maybe they are over there, but they're not being imported to the US. So this is my favorite Syrian. I'm never selling this. Um, I get an offer from Haji every other six months. He's like, dude, can you sell me that? Just sell it to me. Sell it. No, I'm not going to. All right, I'm gonna keep this. It's a great hookah, it's all brass. Um, but what we did was bring in a Syrian inspiration hookah. It's an HJ hookah or hookah John hookah. And what we've got here is basically um, an inspiration of that Syrian hours that you just saw, but made um, available, all right? So I'll show you these. The difference in these two, there's pros and cons to these two, to these two different hookahs. This one's a bit taller, no big deal, that doesn't matter. The purge, uh, purge ports are different. This one is more functional. This one barely works and the hose port is really thin. This one fits all the uh, hoses that we use nowadays. So check that out. You get a clear and silver base so you can see the smoke and the water transition, which is a good deal. Um, you've got a washable hose that comes with it, removable tips, this tip removes too. So that's a good deal. All right, you can wash them out fully plastic all the way through. And let me show you some of the inner workings. You're familiar with the other hookah john hookahs that we had, the Turkish inspiration, for example, the octagon hookahs. All great hookahs, and these are built the same on the insides. All right, nice tight seal in there. You can see from the in, inner workings. Nice medium uh, diameter down stem. Cleaner work in here. I mean, I'll show you that for uh, comparison to the Syrian one. <coughs> Syrian one's just kind of a shorter down stem. Here you can see the work's not so great. Still a great hookah and still rare, and this thing's got a lot of value to it, but you just can't get them. All right, so you've got the two, the longer down stem, which is better for getting into your base. Right, right. And uh, again, this is real brass, this is not. But this thing is still solid, very heavy. And you've got your HJ initials all over it. I wanted to get away from what we had before. And uh, that's just an awesome hookah. I'll show it to you in action right now. It's got the same deal where this piece right here, unscrews you put your tray in right like that screw it back on i'm not going to take too much time getting it right uh we can do that later um oh the tongs that come with it pretty decent you know you get your tongs standard tong set poker you want to poke holes there you go you want to twirl it around act like a cool guy smoking hookah there you go comes with a crappy chinese bowl but so what i'm gonna do is add for the first 20 make the first 50 Get out of here. The first 50 orders that mention, give me a free Harmony Bowl in this, you will get a free Harmony Bowl. Um, this video is gonna be up for years to come, so if you're looking at the date and it's been a few months, that deal is over. So just ask for a free. Maybe I'll just make the option to throw them in. Should I do that? No? I don't know. Whatever, whatever. Here's the gold version. Check it out in action. I swapped out the bowl. So we don't have a Chinese bowl on it, we have an actual Harmony on it. So again, for the first 50 people that order, you will get a free Harmony, but you have to put it in the notes and we will keep track. Once I get to 50, I'm done. Check out purging. All right. This hose works wonders. Um, is it as good as a Narbiche? I don't know. It's good enough. It's $10 less than an Arbys. You can get these for $14 alone on the website, so check those out. Make sure to check out royalhookahforum.com. It's got great information for everything hookah related. Um, real information, legitimate information, not just trying to sell you crappy hookahs and so forth or crappy products, everything new that comes out. Um, we do take pride in what we talk about over there, so very informational. Set up a new account there and partake in all the um, who could discussion over there. So the reason I was real tired, made a second video. I mean, we just unloaded all these. I did them myself. It's been hot and humid in here. My banner fell down. This shirt, 
is what I was wearing earlier. It's seriously like a three pounds now with hookah john sweat all over it. I have to take it off, change my shirt. I'm a mess today. Doesn't matter. You guys are doing good, hopefully. This is an awesome hookah. What else can I say about it? Yo, oh, it's not going to be one of those like $300 hookahs that uh, are great too. It's going to be somewhere in the $145 range. Um, so and that's complete. You know, a lot of glass hookahs coming out are like $300. Bucks. A lot of stems like a Regal or a Starbucks hookah, those are $200 bucks just for a stem. <clears throat> those are good hookahs and they're worth the money, but so is this. So it gives you another option to have. All right, so. I think that's it. I'm going to keep this short. Check it out. They're going to be available soon. They probably are available now. What else? Nothing? Alright guys, keep up the good work. Thanks for ordering from me and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. Guys, sorry. I always forget to do this. I keep getting requests for shout outs. And so today we are going to do a shout out for a couple people that I remember. Uh, I'm going to go by memory. Chaz. Perry, ask for a shout out, great, you got one bro, thanks, thanks for the support. Also we got uh, some guy in the UK, Faz Atcha. I don't know if that's his real name or a nickname, but Faz Atcha, what's up bro? One last thing, if you're in the Temecula area, if you know where that is in Southern California, it's inland a bit, south, um, Hookah Vapor Lounge out in Temecula, alright? Good guys out there, I'm gonna go there and make a video soon, I haven't had the time, I'm gonna go check him out. And so that's good. You know what? Even tonight there's a grand opening at another location of Falak Hookah Lounge. This one's going to be in Ontario. I said I'd be there. I might be too pooped to do this. I got to do this for those guys, all right? Go support your local hookah lounges. And if they're not good as far as service or quality of products, check them out. Um, you get one in Glendale, or not in Glendale, in Pasadena for Sarkis. It's called Isis Hookah Lounge. He chose it before the friggin' dilemma, so it's not a poor choice of name, it's just a poor uh, timing, I guess. The lounges that I mentioned have great hookahs, by the way, and um, I know the people personally, so they're doing a good job. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and get back to work here. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. If I can get the thing off.